Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Rafi Eka Wildan Alvianto And in this video I want to tell you about English literary in 17th century period It consists about the history, the figure and works And last is about the characteristic So let's go to the videos 17th century English literary period started in 1603 after the death of Queen Elizabeth and the throne was succeeded by James VI or better known as James I. The church was divided into two movements, the ruling Angling and the rival Puritans. In 1625, James I died and then succeeded by his son Charles I. There is conflict with the Puritans. Puritans are people who uphold religion, especially Protestants. In 1648, the Puritans success to execute Charles I, then established a government under Oliver Cromwell. In 1649, Oliver turned England into a republic for 11 years. In 1658, Oliver died because of disease and was succeeded by his son Richard. In year 1660, Charles Stuart or Charles II returned to England and become king after the abdication of Richard Cromwell in 1659. This is where the most decisive change in English literature were began the diminishing influence of Elizabethan. In 1685, Charles II died and succeeded by James II. During the 17th century, literary form rapidly changed and developed. For example, the work of John Milton, whose writings on sentence, complexity, branch into dozens of classes. Next is figure and works in English literary 17th century period. There are several figures and works in the 17th century literary period. Number 1. John Tunney, 1571-1631, and the works is The Sun Rising, Poetry. Number two, Richard Lefley, sixteen eighteen until sixteen fifty seven, the work, to Althea from Poison Poetry. Number three, John Milton, sixteen zero eight until sixteen seventy four. The work is Paradise Lost and Paradise Rechained Poetry. Number 4. John Trident. The work are The Congress of Granda, The Indian Queen, and Auring Zip Poetry. Number 5, John Loki, 1632 until 1704. The work, Two Treatises on Government, Prose. Number 6, Thomas Hobbes. The work is Leviathan, 1651, Prose.
Number seven, William Concrete. The work is The Way of the World, Trauma. The last is William Whitley. The work, The Country Wife, Trauma. Next is literary characteristics. The literature of the 17th period is grim, pessimistic, and serious. The literature of this period also lost its romantic passion, but was more critical and intellectual, more thought-provoking than emotional. For poetry, in 17th period literature, there are three groups of poetry, metaphysical, cavalier, and puritan. Metaphysical poetry is a group of poems that share common characteristics. They are all highly intellectualized, use rather strange imagery, use frequent paradox, and contain extremely complicated thought. Cavalier poetry is a genre of poetry that is typically characterized by straightforward and refined poetry with common themes like enjoying life, seizing the day, or romantic love. And for Puritan poetry, it is English poems that emphasize religion beliefs. For example, in John Milton, Paradise Lost. For prose, the 17th century was an age of prose that interest in scientific detail and leisurely observation mark the prose of the time. This new writing style emphasized clarity, directness, and economy of expression. And for the drama, drama in 17th century period presents the most important playwright and the most popular dramatic genres of this period, such as a city comedy, tragic comedy, revenge tragedy, and later a restoration comedy and a heroic drama. I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching the video and have a nice day. Thank you.